NASA is full of experts in the field of space and science, and throughout the years they have come across some truly peculiar things, which make even the most seasoned pros take a second look at how they view the cosmos. From terrifying exoplanets to finding gamma-ray space bubbles, let's take a deep dive into space and view the strangest things we have ever found. Perhaps the weirdest and most promising things that NASA has stumbled upon in the great depths of the cosmos are exoplanets. You have likely heard a lot of talk about exoplanets lately, especially since the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, which has been tasked with seeking and examining exoplanets. But what are they? It is important to note that until the early 1990s, the only planets we knew about in our universe were the familiar ones in our solar system. The scope and ability of our technologies didn't permit us to expand our horizons and widen our views. However, times have changed a lot in the last 30 years, and in that span, astronomers at NASA and beyond found more than 500 extrasolar planets called exoplanets. They range in size from the very, very large, gargantuan gas planets that rival the size of our star to small, rocky, dim red dwarfs. But all of them orbit around a star, like Earth does, and all of them have the potential for life. Exoplanets have opened the possibility of finding another world that could possibly house life forms. Indeed, many people consider exoplanets to be our best bet if we ever want to ditch Earth or are forced to plant mankind's flag in another corner of the cosmos. Astronomers sure think they are onto something with exoplanets because over the last few years, more interest has been focused on them since it is assumed that somewhere out there, exoplanets capable of sustaining life are just waiting to be found. One of the strangest exoplanets found is named TOI-849b. It's such a big planet that it spans a size of about 40 times larger than Earth, which gives you plenty of room to roam around. Well, that would be true if the world wasn't so dangerously hot. Discovered in 2020 by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, it's baking on TO-1849b. The planet so closely orbits its star that an entire year passes in just 18 hours. And as you can imagine, being that close to a star makes the heat on this planet a complete nightmare. It is estimated that temperatures reach around 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. But even TOI-849b isn't even close to the exoplanet KELT-9b in terms of heat. The exoplanet KELT-9b is considered to be a Jupiter-like exoplanet and is so hot that it's significantly warmer than many stars. It orbits so near to its sun that its surface sizzles at over 7,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to produce atomic iron and titanium in its atmosphere. Researchers discovered that the planet's tremendous temperatures force hydrogen gas molecules to split apart, only to rejoin when they travel to the colder, everlasting night side, before being torn apart once more when they return to the inferno. It's weird to see a planet survive for so long under such conditions, and it goes to show that space is filled with some truly perplexing planets that are incredibly uninviting to any life form. If we are talking about the strange, exciting discovery of exoplanets, we need to also take a look at one of the biggest dangers, black holes. Black holes seem to occur in just two sizes until recently, minuscule remains of collapsing stars or monstrous animals with masses of millions or perhaps billions of suns. Even though scientists have confirmed the existence of intermediate mass black holes, the majority of black holes we see are either tiny or large. Every galaxy, including our own Milky Way, has an example of the latter. Although supermassive black holes in many other galaxies emit X-rays or furiously spew large jets of material, our galaxy is unusually silent. 
It's almost as if we're harboring a sleeping monster waiting to be awakened. But our galaxy's nucleus is not completely unknown. Other wavelengths of light seep out even though we can't see what's going on 27,000 light years away, since it's concealed behind thick sheets of dusty gas. Long ago, radio telescopes discovered a strong emission known as Sagittarius A. Sagittarius A has a mass of around 4 million solar masses, which is less than that of most galaxy centers. Nobody knows what this ultra-crushed singularity is made of or whether some undiscovered process has slowed its shrinkage and stopped it from reaching zero volume. It remains an immense mass that stays mysterious to this day. Speaking of Sagittarius A, another NASA finding that left many scratching their heads comes from that region of the stars. Astronomers utilizing NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope revealed an amazing, surprising discovery in November 2010. Two bubbles, consisting entirely of strong gamma rays, erupt from the heart of our Milky Way galaxy. Now, this would have been unusual on its own, even if the bubbles were concentric and focused on the galaxy's core, growing at 2.2 million miles per hour. However, these two massive spheres float in seemingly empty space above and below the Milky Way's black hole, Sagittarius A. The bubbles are tangential to each other, forming a short, stubby hourglass shape when they touch at the galactic center. The overall structure resembles a sideways infinity sign, or the number eight. It's not often that so much symmetry and order is found in the great chaos of space. But if you want to talk weird, you have to talk about antimatter, a discovery that NASA made and one that still confounds them to this day. What is it and why is it so darn perplexing? The origin of antimatter goes way back. Numerous particles emerged at the dawn of creation, only minutes after the Big Bang, and an approximately equal number of antiparticles appeared at the same time too. These subatomic items are essentially identical to their conventional particle counterparts, but there are a few important differences. When matter and antimatter collide, they annihilate one another, implying that a spectacular fireworks show occurred at the beginning of the universe. The weirdest thing about antimatter is the amount of it that has been found in space. If antimatter and matter are really identical, then it stands to reason that they should have been produced in equal amounts during the Big Bang. But currently, there seems to be nearly no antimatter left in the universe. It only appears in radioactive decays and small fractions of cosmic rays. So what happened to antimatter? Where did it go? Another strange thing about antimatter is that we humans can make it. That's right, there are many ways that NASA proposes antimatter can be made, aside from being created after the Big Bang. Nuclear processes are just one of many ways that antimatter can be made, and it can even exist for a short amount of time in any of the particle accelerators found here on Earth. For every example that we listed, there are plenty more out there. That is because space is packed full of mysteries. Every time we think we have a good handle on the way the solar system works, we find something new that teaches us something we don't know at all. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.